Well, good morning everybody. This is KC Zero VII. This is KD Zero TLJ. Uh, as you can tell, spring here in North Ottawa has came with a kind of a vengeance. It wasn't Yay. too long ago we had snow. Now we got nice green grass starting to green up. And as you can tell, the bedding plants has showed up. Oh, look who came home. <laughs> this is Fee. Kind of a rescue kitty. And you can see Belle out in the road, not where she's supposed to be. The uh, checking everything out. Swing back around here nice and slow. Um, everything came in, greening up. This will probably be uh, the last video for about the month. Uh, we'll see how we do. Be probably the first weekend in June that we'll be able to get back. Uh, as you can tell, when she gets going in the springtime, uh, bedding plants are going out right now. Then we got Mother's Day coming up. Then we have graduation. Then Memorial Day at the end of the month. Um, and you know the campers got put away the radios are put away for about the next 30 or 40 days um, kind of really depends on how long this nice weather lasts and how fast people get stuff planted in so um, we'll go up a little further to show what we have as you can tell we have a large garden center here we sell all kinds of bedding plants and herbs and perennials and hanging baskets you name it we sell okay. it that, that's enough of that stuff this is supposed to be about hand radio and camping not not stuff like that, planting stuff, okay? You see some more uh, bedding stuff and hanging baskets. Uh, a lot of the stuff came in during the week one night during the midst of a thunderstorm. Um, we got probably five inches, almost five inches of rain the last week. The uh, uh, farmers are just starting now to get back into the field, so um, it's going to be an interesting spring. And as you remember from a previous episode when spring was canceled, uh, more plants get in here, uh, more flowering stuff. Uh, tomato plants are getting bigger than the peppers. Uh, we got a couple of hanging baskets. And the big stuff in the back, that's got geraniums. Geranium, geraniums and, um, there's also like 2,000 praying mantises in here. We release those to uh, take care of the aphids and grasshopper problems. Uh, a lot of times we'll get flats in from our, our supplier that we're not really sure what could be in there. Um, one thing we noticed when she was working on the uh, Hanging baskets, a lot of supplies are now are including that little envelope that has, uh, uh, what were they, little um, insect, not insects, little uh, uh, mite eaters. It's a little insect like that, uh, that's a laid hatch on the eggs and they take care of any aphid larva that may come across your hanging baskets. I thought that was kind of neat, but kind of nice that the supplier would have said something about it, so. And here we are in number one. There's a, this mainly in front of her store. Right, Belle? She's got to be in all the shots. As you can see, Pooh is there in the back. We had to move her to a different location due to the fact we had some um, Girl Scouts stopped in the other day to do the downtown planners. Got them all planted up, I see. Yes, we did. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce has different businesses and people sponsor our planners here in town. And I usually plant them and the Girl Scouts asked to plant them. So we had 14 girls that came and planted up the er, or planted up the big pots so they had a lot of fun well on that we're going to sign off here and like i said we'll try won't guarantee it when she wanted to do this challenge she said we could do something every week and i think she realized how much work that is so but uh, this is going to be a busy month for us so we'll uh, just say seven three be sure to subscribe and like and share with your friends uh casey zero vii kd zero tlj and bell and fee around here somewhere but uh Licenses, everybody. See you in about a month.